Okay, we're rolling. Guys, let's go. Hit the road. Okay friends, here we go. I'll show you something really different. The hunters become pizza makers, okay? <laughs> so we are uh, at Milano's, Milano's Pizza, Fruitville, right? That's right. Okay, in Fruitville. And look at look at uh, my hunting partner. Look at what is he doing. This used to be my place. Well, we know that this used to, this Milano yeah, pizza used to be owned by George. He sold it four years ago or something like that, or three. He retired. And look at that, my friends. Yeah, yeah. This is what it takes to make pizzas. Every day. Every day. So, welcome to the Milano. spectacle Milano's Pizzeria. Yeah. <laughs> look at Yorgo. <laughs> Try to help him. Maybe we get a meal for our price. You see, guys, I'm here too, but I'm not cooking pizzas. I'm just, uh, just supervising. supervising. Yeah, I'll just something different, anyway. Yeah. Okay, you guys, you seen uh, George pushing the dough in the pizza place? Here is the final product. We are just eating it right now. But Yorgo, look at, he's cheating. I no, I don't even eat cheese. I know, but that's what I'm saying. You're cheating. He's eating the chicken strips with honey garlic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the cook cooked the pizza and now we eat it in the Milano. So if any of you guys are in Fruitville, well, go and check that place out. Just a quick review on this uh, Vitoman, you know, I use this in the bush now for, I don't know, seven days, we use the shower, uh, we use the lighting in at night for about four to five hours, uh, 60 watt light bulb. But uh, other than that, guys, this perform pretty pretty good so i don't have the solar panels so what i do i charge it in here so i plug it in it's a fast charge it's one hour easy easy no problem i i like this unit for a few different reasons you know i like the fact that you can jump start you know your uh, your car with that so that's a really nice feature i like the fact that yeah you can uh, you have a bluetooth you can control it with the bluetooth and all that kind of stuff 
and um, yeah it just works great and I think price was too it's convenient and it has all the gadgets up top yeah approved kind the sign was saying so yeah I like that I like to stay free my friends I really do I don't like to be suppressed in things that I don't want to do or I don't like so freedom is a big part of my life I hope it's a big part of your life too guys places that you guys see up there all those clear cuts we used to do a lot of those hunting around this area and there is the beast oh yeah look at that sexy thing isn't it oh man I love it that, that thing is the best ever Yes, we got the lunch. Oh, wow. This is 
basically breakfast my friends not lunch so let's see how oh we got lots of goodies oh um, gee, look at look at this blt oh <laughs> It's good. You guys need to see this. Mm, mm, mm. Open up. Honey cruller and Boston cream for the wind, my friends. I love these things. I need the sugar boost. Mm -mm. Look at how nice this is. The tools with the donuts. The tools with the donuts. Yeah. Let's have some. How about that? My friends, let's have some. Hmm? Ah. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. I'm gonna tell you something else, my friends. Me without my little home here, I'll be dead in the water. I was climbing this big freaking hill up everything was normal I didn't see anything abnormal or sound abnormal you know the coolant temperature good the, the oil pressure good exhaust temperature good fuel pressure excellent but I hear the little sissing and boy was I ever smoking Holy moly. And then I just took my foot up the accelerator. I geared down one. And the boost dropped down to like 7 PSI. Sounded okay. And no more smoke. So I have to do a thorough inspection when I go home. Because could be one of the boots in the charge system might have a tiny pinhole. And that's what happens. You put more fuel than uh, air into it, and then it starts smoking. Right now it's doing good, but boy, ooh, ooh. my heart raced a little bit, I tell you that much. <laughs> Coming up on that big monster uh, straight up hill. Oh, oh, oh. But after that was holding at nice 80 kilometers an hour, no problem, you know, I took the I gear one down and everything was perfect so i keep my fingers crossed no drama here needed so i'll keep you guys posted okay but all of these guys that they are following me i tell you my friends they definitely smell my sushi because that's what we are burning here we go here we go yeah Buddy, you go, you go. Now he's a professional driver. He should know that he should have the four-way flashers on because he's going slow. But this dude, no, he doesn't. I guess it's hard to put the flashers on. And that's the soils down there, my friends. So 
yes, we are in Kerenius. A beautiful small little village. And look at the landscape here, my friends. Look at the landscape here. It's like a Sahara. at the town ladies, okay? Look at that. They are the city's liquors. So, this is where we're gonna sleep tonight, my friends. I decided to stay here for the night and carry on tomorrow morning. It's just a couple hours to go home, but I said, well, let's just relax a little bit. So we are just passing through many visitor center. Okay, we are uh, just about in Abbotsford, we just passed Chilevac. Boy, it's raining here. So we are in Langley, my friends. Highway number 10. About 15 minutes away from home. And it's uh, raining. We are just about home. We're gonna turn the corner right now. And we are home. Oh, yes, I'm happy to be home. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Lolisa from the Overland. Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing good. I'm all happy, happy back home. I got in late, late, very late last night, so everything is still hooked up. So now, what we're gonna do, my friends, just unpack everything and hook the beast and start unpacking all the dirty laundry, put everything away. Plus I have to go visit somebody today, a client called me that he has some issues, so we should get going and do everything and get moving so I can go see this uh, client of mine, you know. I built this beast and he has some issues, I don't know. I guess starting and uh, idling or uh, acceleration, we'll see. We'll see what the problem is, my friends. But anyway, I'm happy to be back home and I hope you guys are happy to see me. <laughs> you see me anyway, so let's get going here and do get all the stuff out. Oh yeah, there is lots to come out from here, my friends. For sure, but let's undo the beast and then. Um
Hello, my friends. <laughs> Look at this. Hello, welcome home, Papa. Oh, you see, my friends, I got home. Oh, look at my lovely wife. Oh, yeah, she misses me. Really? Anyway, no, guys, I don't. you see, I cannot speak for herself. She has to speak for her. But, my friends, welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, that's all I have for you guys. I am home, safe. My lovely wife, it's happy to see me. That's am what I? she told me in the background, but now she's like, Oh, am I? I don't know. Are you, sweetie? Uh. Anyway, guys, very nice seeing you. If you guys are so this far into the movie, well, I appreciate your love, my friends. You know, but till uh, next time, you guys be safe, be well. I'll send you guys love. Peace out.